spite of the owl, we will start a more town selected meeting for Monday, September 20th. It's our first hybrid, which we are allowing people uh, to join us in the, the uh, internet or Zoom or can call in. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and general public comments. And I see Steve Robbins. Yeah, Steve, would you like to uh, share something tonight? I would. Why don't you come on up and join us here too? Thank you. I'll be happy to. I have a hard time getting my tool in last one. It's quite all right. Um, so the committee um, in our last couple meetings suggested I come um, on at least one specific point, but I figured since I was going to be here, um, I could give a very short update. I don't want to take a lot of your time. Um, I have uh, some notes if you want to take one and sure. pass it around. And I have a copy of our current budget, and I thought also if you wanted to take one, pass it around. And this is the rent committee, Steve, we all know. More town recreation committee. <laughs> yes, Other people that's that. Can I just give up my pen for something? Oh, that's right. Thank you. I'm sorry, Steve. Go ahead. So um, you have before you, I don't want to call it an agenda, just a couple of things I was going to raise through. Really the most important thing I put first. Um, we've been me meeting via Zoom and then outdoors for, it seems like, the last two years. And it's going to start to turn cold here. Um, we're going to get hopefully one more meeting in next Monday outside. But at the end of October, that's not going to fly anymore. And unless we're going to go back to Zoom meetings, we'd like to meet in here. We did in the past, before COVID, we'd like to do that again. I hand wrote in 5.30 p.m. We meet the fourth Monday of each month. That would mean October 25th would be the next meeting. And if you guys can see clear to allow us to meet in here uh, going forward, at least as long as it's safe, uh, and there's a way to do that, that would be our preference. After that, we don't have any other ideas at the moment. <clears throat> I don't uh, see a problem with that. I mean, yeah. I think some guidelines right here on the table. That yep. We'll do that, and this will be available for you as well, Steve. So if you want to use this, um, this owl thing. Um, Is that like a Zoom thing? Yeah. yeah, it allows people to join the meeting virtually. Okay. Right, and um, they're, they're, they're projected up. And anyway, so it's. Uh, so we might need a little, uh, if we need a little schooling on how to do that, that would be maybe extra credit, and we could do that sidebar. But what we were hoping is that. Since we're going to do minutes after the next meeting, which is next week, it's always nice to be able to post where you're going to meet and how you're going to meet. And that's why I was trying to get out ahead of it so that we could count on physically meeting here. So I can round back with you outside of this setting as to key, any other procedures that you want us to be aware of. All right. Do you have, um, what about an office entry? Do you have, um, does anyone have a key? How would you guys get in last time? That's part, um, last time, what did we do? I, Dwayne, so it was when Dwayne was still on the board, and I don't know if somebody entrusted him with a key, honestly. I think he made when he was in the school, he was coming over getting a key and then maybe drawing it back off. I think Chuck Burt also, when he was on the committee, helped with that. But Dwayne's no longer with us and Chuck's no longer with us, so I'm sure we can figure out another person maybe that's trustworthy enough to get a key for a temporary amount of time to get in and out. Right. If somebody wants to pick it up on that day, and then we'll give you an envelope, and you can drop it in the drop box when you guys leave. Like I said, whatever procedures you guys would like for entry, cleaning, whatever it is, you just let us know, and we'll, I'm sure we can do it. No, that'll work fine. Um, the next thing on the list was the budget. Um, I gave you a quick down and dirty. We've been terrible at spending our money this year, um, <clears throat> so we're well under budget. And part of the reason is that. We didn't spend any money on uh, the pot parties, which I, uh, porta potty rather, which I think were somehow the school covered, and they may have had some extra money from COVID or something else to do it. But just wanted you to be aware that there's still money in our budget if we need to pitch in for that. And then I put a second uh, bullet down, or a first bullet, which was when we did the trail thing, there was a matching grant of a thousand that the town had sort of committed to, I would say, or, or agreed to. I'm not sure if the town paid that or not. And if not, we actually had it in our budget for this year to, to put money for, to what was going to be phase two, but um, the rider did not get that grant. So um, I'll leave it to the, to uh, Well, I'm sure I'll then look into that. I just thought it'd be a good idea to look into it as we're sort of ending, getting towards the end of the budget here. Yep. Um, and then I put a question, an open question, in that the trails have been so successful that 
Um, we didn't get the grant this year, but maybe it would be wise to consider the wisdom of building trails under a budget that we create out of the town, at least partially. Um, but it, I, I'm not here to yeah. um, wave that flag, per se. Um, the next thing on it was the forestry manager plan. That's something, a topic of discussion that we've actually been taking up for the last several months as a portion of our, our, of our monthly meeting, and we'll continue to do so because we know that folks rely on us maybe for some um, oversight or, and or input, but we don't feel like we're the driver of the process. We've said that from the start. It's really a planning commission job. It yeah. was its inception. They've even agreed when I've talked to the folks that they said, oh yeah, we should, we should have a joint meeting. We should do something. And then it was COVID and it was this and it was that. So I'm just here to nudge and say that you know we're definitely well over the 10 years and we should sort of be doing that. Um, a note about Morefest, um, and I'll remind our group when we come uh, in a note that uh, John had said he would lead a mushroom walk and it would arrange for the matter of riders to have a bike ride, and Susan has said that she would lead a pickleball demonstration of sorts, or mm -hmm. sort of like. Uh, have you checked, checked in with the Morefest committee and let them know all about that? Or I haven't, but um, Meg sits on our, Meg Schultz is involved with Morefest, and she, in theory, sits on our board, although she's missed last couple of meetings. Well, so she's I, been very busy with SIPFest. So I get it. Um, I would suggest you reach out to the two. Yeah, I'll tickle, I'll tickle the riders and John and everybody. And Susan will be easy. She, it's a yes for her. Talk to uh, Leanne. Yeah, Leanne and... Uh, or... Uh, Lindsay. 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 I'll make sure they're aware. I'll make sure Leanne yeah, has the data. And I can poke John and Megan and Susan. Yeah. Uh, I, I just wanted. Just I just wanted to know. You know, there'll be some. Good. There'll be some. Some stuff. Oh no, it's fine. You should, but they've been. I'm going. They're really. You know, working on where things are, how things are. And sure. I'm sure, they appreciate knowing. So. Uh, trails update. I just thought I'd bring some visual aids and just a quick note on the trails, because that's been a big part of what we've done the last couple of years. You can have a look if you go out on the trails themselves. There's approximately 200 of these now out on our trails as trail markers. You know, instead of paint on a tree, we decided mm -hmm. to go with markers. And then some suggested that we didn't have enough, so we got a whole bunch more, and then these arrows. And I've been out there, and the trails are quite well marked at this point. I've only got a handful of each of these left. This, we can always order more, it's easy. We have a budget to do it, but um, first people said we should mark the trails, and we did, and then people said we should mark them more because we don't know where to go. So. Now, it's, you should be able to follow the trails quite well. <laughs> there's also those engraved wooden signs if you haven't been out on the trails. There's one here that you can see an example of, but all the trail heights and all of the intersections, the important intersections, there's now proper wooden engraved signs that make you really feel like this is a trail system and that I'm not gonna get lost and somebody's maintaining it maybe. It just makes, it just is more inviting. Really? And we've noticed a real increase in usership. I mean, especially this lower nature trail is getting hammered. And even now up on the upper trails, I'll call it, when I used to go out, I would rarely see a body or evidence of somebody. And now I'm, I'm passed by a mountain biker or a walker almost every single time. And I see the evidence, the lawful tracks and the footprints and the dog prints. So I would tell you that That's trail use has really, really, really increased a lot in the last year. COVID made them. It might have been good timing because we were marking the trails and proving the trails at the same time that people really needed a place to go. And I was out on them actually for the first time myself, and I was really pleasantly surprised. I didn't realize what, what a system that we have there. And were, you able to, were you able to follow the trail pretty easily? Yeah. So stay on the trail? Yeah. No, it's, it's really nice, and you guys are doing a good job there, and I, 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 I highly recommend anyone uh, to get out there and give it a try. So, um, you say, is, is the trail in? Is there a trail head up in South Hill? There is. is there, okay. Yeah, so. that's the only kind of remote trail head I would call it. It's not here at the, at the school. As you go right off opposite the cemetery, sometimes people will park actually at the cemetery across the way. Yeah. You know, next to it, and then it's almost just across the street, Kitty Corner Farm. And people, I see cars park there, and I see use from that trail head actually. I really do. Because I live on South Hill, so I'm able, yeah, I know you do. I, I'm able to see it. I see people coming and going and walking their dogs and like that. Um, I'm just going to hand this one around. I didn't make copies. This really should have been handed up at the Forestry Management Plan. I just wanted you to see that we've had some contact with Vermont Land Trust, Caitlin, over there, and she's got her head in the game. So if, if whenever it's appropriate, the Planning Commission and the Sec Board see fit, 
we could probably fire up that process at some point. It could easily take a year to do it, but you know, um, it's certainly something. Maybe it's worth what? Maybe you could forward that email to Sasha so she can send it around. Sure. You know, that way I would have, yeah. you know. Yeah, that would be good. Thank you for And then the last thing on here, um, and, uh, and, and I'll um, accompany that with this. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step aside and um, take some time off the committee. Uh, it's been about five years. I let the committee know well in advance so that everybody could sort of plan, if you will. Not so much to take a lot of planning, but... Um, and uh, it's been a very effective committee. We've had incredible people over my time on it, including Michelle and Duane, who really inspired me a lot. I learned a lot from those guys. And John Atkinson and Chris. I mean, Susan, it's a, it's a, there's a nice complex of age and male, female, I mean, it's about as good as you could ask for. Um, I've been terrible at attracting new people, but they seem to be coming to us. Um, and I would tell you that uh, ideally, an odd number is good and more would be better. Seven would be ideal because just like with y'all, if you only get two right. or three, and you have a six person board, you don't have a quorum and you can't actually pass business and approve minutes and all that good stuff. So I would prefer to see it be a seven person board and that way maybe four can show up if three show up with a six-person board, you don't have a quorum. And that's my, that's, I know it seems silly, yeah. but I've been sort of taking um, responsibility for all those little technical things, making agendas and passing minutes and you know, having minutes and making sure people don't have meetings sidebar that are illegal. And, and it's been good. People have really taken to it. So I, I, that's my hope going forward is it'll just cruise on and there'll be more great people, volunteers around that'll want to come in. So, how many people are on the board now? Six. That's but we don't always get six, you know. When you step down, it'll just there's all there'll be five. So and that's actually good in a way for the interim. But we need to find perhaps two more people. Not we. Yeah, we collectively. Yeah, as a term. The, the we actually have an idea about someone. Absolutely. I, I actually there was a couple names that came up and I called them repeatedly and invited them each meeting for months and you know, you knock on that door three, four months in a row and they don't show. I'm, I'm really not a great recruiter, obviously. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> well, it's not, you've got enough on your plate, but yeah, I, I, there's someone I can maybe mention to. Yeah. We meet Monday, this Monday we'll be meeting outside, 5.30. I'm putting to that, go to that yeah. um, cover out here in the field. So that's the, uh, what's the date on that? 27th. A week from today. 27th. And uh, then the 25th, we'll meet here. Sometimes we take off. In the past, December has not been a good month. A lot of years, we just don't meet in the month of December, FYI. Sure. Oh, sorry. Just because it's Christmas week and it's all that stuff. Well, we certainly want to thank you, Steve. I mean, you know, I'm sure there's no questions, but for all the time you've put in and your professionalism, like I said, and, and you're, you're striving to, as you said, put, you know, cross the uh, T's and dot the I's as far as your, you know, running a meeting we appreciate that. It makes it all easier for us. But all your hard work and good out here, energy and ideas. Really, uh, it's uh, been a pleasure. It's, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. We've done, done some great stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, sure. And I'm sure it'll, it'll keep going. There's a lot of good people in this town, a lot of interest in the, in the fields and the trails and the courts. So um, that's it. You know, a question came up about uh, some stone that might have been placed by the work committee on a ditch line or something? Do you know, did that come from your kind of work? Uh, probably. <laughs> there was a big pile left over from the trail, from the big push at the end of last, you know, the, the, of this lower nature trail. I know that part of that was, there was a pile for the longest time that, down at the end of the way. I don't was concerned about Is that what you mean? Yeah, was concerned about drainage or something? Yeah, well, I think you would play, there was some place in the ditch and I think it was it washed out or washed down into the I was, I was just looking at my phone. I had a picture of it, but I don't know if my phone's in that far. I think the problem with the broker, if you take care of it, yeah. unless we're just trying to determine what the source was, it maybe it's a good chance it was. Uh, it, it sounds like it was, but I'd be happy to meet with anybody, or I could also, I would, I would probably bring in a combination of John. Well, and why don't the broker take, uh, take care of it, kind of find out where the source was, and, yeah. and it's probably these guys, and just say, all right, in the future, if you're putting it in, 
if you're using heavier stuff or whatever it happens to be. Was it from the drive on the way up to the courts right there, you mean? You know, I, I saw the picture, but I really wasn't sure. Okay. Yeah, I didn't find yeah. it. Well, I'm happy to address it in any way that you guys see fit. Uh, happy to put eyes to it and bring in whoever and explain it. But the reason I can't answer 100% is, you know, the work was sort of subbed out to this um, trail company, if, if yeah. it was yeah. part of that work. And there was a little bit after the fact, and then there was some volunteers. Yeah. Kingsbury and others who have said, hey, we had a machine, we can help. Yep. Which is, you know, we're always in the client and meta right and trying to say yes, people are volunteering time and machine. But um, I do want to be respectful and manage that, you know, the, the land yeah. as, as, as best as we can. So you can check the over right? I will. See I will. If any Feel issues. free to reach out anytime. Sure. Um, and I'll be happy to meet you out there and we can put eyes to it. Okay. I'm, I'm always close by. Um, and I'm not going anywhere, you guys, so. Um, What's well, here? Great. Anything else for Steve? Would you like a retirement room? I'll take one for the road. <laughs> and with thanks. Anybody can. <laughs> I think it's after the disease. Sasha. Are you retired already? I uh, retired last Thursday. Congratulations yeah. and thank you for your service. My goodness. During 67 Friday, I figured. That was a good time to be retired. Good for you. Yeah, yeah congratulations. Right? Yes. Well deserved. Yeah. I'm happy. Yeah, it's kind of a weird feeling, but you know what? Ready to move on to something else? I aspire to I have a nice pizza, but we can. I like that. I we can pizza? Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for your time. Hey, thank you, Steve. Nice to see you. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate you coming. All right. That was nice. So, um, so moving on, I don't see any other people here for um, public comments. And it doesn't look like we have anyone that's joined uh, on the Zoom. So let's go ahead and move on. We have uh, errors and omissions. Now this comes from Memory or the New England Municipal uh, Resource Center. I just heard that on the radio the other day. I was always wondering what Nemrex stood for. Yeah. There you go. So there it is. And so we have errors and omissions. And what these are, yeah, obviously, I mean, it's uh, different errors that have come through on the, uh, the grand list that Nemrex picked up on. Uh, does everyone want to take a look at them? Or shall I um, just. I'll, I'll state the first one. Um, we have Sandy Reagan, um, and it's just a change of ownership. That's the only thing that we need to um, change there. Um, and then we have um, uh, Kuzinski um, family change from 605,200 to 557,500. Uh, and the reason is they sold off 62 or 68.2 acres uh, to Ludwig. Uh, and then the next change um, is a change to Ludwig uh, for that 68,000, uh, or part of the purchase of the 68 <coughs> acres uh, for 176,000. <coughs> um, so it was actually a, a little increase there. Um, the next one we have is H&H &H Real Estate, and um, I can explain that. Oh yeah, because <laughs> it's zero now. Um, Burmester's bought the remaining what H&H &H had. And where it, was that? It was contiguous. It was right next to H&H. &H. It's <coughs> not the bit that they had. And part of that land is very steep and not buildable. So it changed the grade in the, the grading system that they do for, it's non-buildable stuff. So Burmester bought that section and it added, I think it was 90,000? 90,000 to, to theirs. Okay. Uh, so that change in ancient H real estate, it stayed the same at 442. Um, Burmester's went from 273 to, three, uh, to 363, 100, and that's because of the extra acreage that they uh, got that's non-billable. Um, the next 
uh, era for admission was Timber Best Partners. Uh, 636.6, ownership change there. Uh, no change as far as value. Uh, next, we have an ownership change again, Zachary Bozier. Um, and that's, again, no value change, just the life estate ownership has changed. Uh, the next uh, change we have is, uh, again, it's just a, an ownership. Uh, it's a life estate deed. Paul and Matthew Nato. Net um, uh, they just remain owners uh, on that deed. Uh, Green Mountain Power, we had a change. Uh, it started at 2359000 and it changed to uh, two million one hundred ninety-two uh, five hundred thousand. Um, that's a change difference of one hundred sixty-six thousand five hundred. Uh, the reason the total utility assessment the CIA was not uh, applied correctly, and there's an attachment here we can uh, look on that if you like. Uh, and we have a second remount power. Uh, that was changed from 7,369,400 to 6,890,500. A change of uh, $478,900. And again, the um, uh, total, utility, total utility assessment, CLA, was not, not applied. Uh, the next change we had was Papadou, uh, Ronald, and Sandra. And uh, it's just again a deed change. It was an executor's deed uh, from the Zilly. So those are the changes. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So there was twelve that they have picked up on. Um, now these are all things that probably should have. Some of them picked up uh, by the listers, but because of the lister issues that we've uh, experienced, um, that's why it fell to uh, no. So, is there a motion to approve these changes? I make a motion to approve those changes. Is there a second? A second. Okay. Well, one question, John. How does uh, what, how does that affect the grand list? It has an effect on the right, it reduces it or increases it or whatever. And we've already set the tax rate now. But what, what happens with that? It goes up and down, whatever happens with each one of those. And she said, once you guys approve them, the notices go out and those people have 14 days to grieve those. Yeah. So then but what, I, yeah, what I'm saying though is if we, we set a tax rate. Grand list will. If, if the grand list is less, then our tax rate is odd, then we're already kind of in a little yeah, deficit. Yeah, in, the, in the hole there. Yeah, but when we make it up the next year, we, yes. we, yeah, I guess yeah, it all come right. through. will come through the next year, but yeah, I guess it's probably common. It's something yeah. that's got it. And usually, there are not um, the omissions that we see here. And we, well, I said usually this has happened now twice with Green Mountain Power. Right. Um, where, uh, you know, this is uh, five, six, this is three quarters of a million dollars. So that's real money on there. Yeah, that is real money right there. Uh, so there will be, there could be uh, a bit of a next year where things will be um, off, if you will, because we've got to make that up. Yeah. Uh, but that's why it's really important that. Uh, we have listers that can do the job. Uh, and that's why I think with our switching to network uh, uh, is really the way to go because then we won't see this. I mean, again, especially with Green Mountain Power. Uh, and Don, I think you had just gotten on the board, but um, we've had this happen before. And um, actually, Green Mountain paid the bill. They didn't even realize there was a problem. That's, how big they are, and it, it becomes, in fact, we're still holding that, if you look in the, uh, your, your book, our yearly book, right. we still have that, because we have not gotten back with us on that, but 
I mean, did they, would they, um, when they get the notice, do they object, to, do, they, do, they, do they have a process where they object to that, or? They, they should they have, they did not. The last time, but then again, they might. They didn't last time, they didn't this time. Oh. So, um, which again, that surprised me too, but um, that's not. Well, if it's per the rules and regs, then maybe they just figure that's the way it is. Exactly, they're getting it and they think it's, you know, they just, and uh, you know, we're continuing to make mistakes on it, so. So, uh, any other questions? All in favor, go aye. 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 She's from Denmark? Yep, she came down, yeah, from Denmark. She came down and spent one whole day and she planned on doing that. And what was her name again? Uh, Cassandra Dettilio. She's in the right. Yeah. Oh. All right, so we've got there. Ah, so. Looks like a sun was on that one. Second, huh? Thank you. 
No further questions. I'll do all right. Okay. Good That's great. Yeah. Yeah, he is. He'll be good for that. Yeah. Um, there's a DRB hearing for the town on September 30th. Um, Sharon said that one of the select board members would probably want to be there. It's for the stormwater. All right. What day do we do that? Tuesday? No. No. 27th is. Thursday. 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 That's the only night of the week I can't make it on other days. It's poker night. <laughs> Do you know that? <laughs> it's a card night. Is there the meetings here? Yes. They're doing Zoom in here. Um, um, it's, about, it's about the... Uh, it's the retention pond or the... Uh, the uh, the bio retention. Yeah, for the, the storm drainage. Yes, yes. <coughs> oh, for the parking lot? Yeah. So, I mean, John Pokemon is. John, or is we were John? One, two, John or I, I mean, he's been on top of it as well as I have. Yeah. He's not here, Nancy. So he's he's gone gone here. Yeah. Well, I'm told. Well, I'm told. And have you heard anything about the war on you? I haven't been able to reach Joe. I, you know, I've been, I don't know what I but uh, what I'm really looking for is, you know, I, you know, I will get together with Joe okay. and get a budget number. Obviously, we're not going to do anything with you anyways. Okay. So uh, before budget time, I'll, I'll, I'll have it all straightened out with Joe. Okay. And I'm probably going to have another warrant either tomorrow or Wednesday so that we can get all the checks out for more trust. Um, Possibly be around. Yeah, just make sure you text me when you send an email because of. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. It's easy for me to sheet down here. Sasha's very good. Thank you. 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 Road crew phone, well, Martin's phone, has been having some odd late fee charges. The guy told Sherilyn today after she'd been on hold and transferred like five times um, that the package we have is going up. So we're wondering if, just a brainstorm, if we could pay the phone off. And Stefan has a special account for at and for the fire department, which would save a lot of money. And he had told us that he could get Martin's phone on it because he's kind of an essential worker. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you guys... Yeah, I'm looking at that. Yeah. Yes? That's all I have. So, all right, Ray, what do you have? Yeah. Oh, cool. I don't have any phone. No, John, do you have anything for uh, course communications? No, 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 really have anything, no. All right, well, just a couple little things that I had. Um, we have a call from a Susan Smith, and she lives up on the Common Road, and concerned with water coming into her property. So I will give you the address I have in the car. I'll sure. I'll it over to you, but if you could check the department mm -hmm. about that. She's a little bit about it, but I don't think there's really anything that we can do. But I don't know if there was anything changed. So she thought there was all of a sudden there was a change and there's a lot of water coming under her property. Okay. So, um, I don't think there was any ditching up that way. But, uh, yeah. you know, the water vents that we have nowadays, it really, all of a sudden, it just goes anywhere. Everything changes, yeah. But yeah, so. Um, I think as far as uh, speaking with anyone outside, such that is it. Um, have a few things for later. Or is, we have uh, announcements again. We have more fests coming up this weekend. Um, so I hope everyone can make it. Uh, fire department will be there with uh, corn and french fries they're making. And uh, Eric is doing a pig. Right. And uh, 
this more town store donated. They donated the money for that. Um, and there'll be all sorts of other activities. So we look forward to everyone getting there. And also, isn't this Callie's weekend? Isn't she doing a, a uh, challenge down there in South? Um, I think so. Okay, yeah. challenge. So if you don't come to more fest, go uh, support Callie down at uh, the fitness challenge down there. Iron Woman or whatever the hell is. I wonder, can we send a, send a note out to the, well, I guess most of the committees, they don't, you know, to the committee chairs or something, telling them to remind all their committee members about Warfest or something, you know, just. Yeah, I think that, you know, something that. like that, just, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of different committees in town that maybe someone just might, might not know about or something. Yeah, makes sense. So we're looking forward to that. Sounds like, and uh, there's fireworks and bands and all sorts of things. So I think uh, it'll be good stuff. It looks like the weather's going to be okay too. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I know what, like Steve's people are doing some things and uh, Corey, uh, they have, in fact, they already have something started. To some kind of a, um, uh, egg, hunt. a dragon egg hunt. Dragon egg hunt. Yeah. So carefully consuming dragon eggs. All right, so let's go ahead. Um, there's three of us here, so we can go ahead and approve the select board minutes from uh, uh, the 7th, September 7th. I make a motion to approve the minutes of September 7th. All right. Uh, Don, is there a second? second. Yeah. All right. All in favor, aye. 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 Thank you, nice folks. I'm sorry I wasn't here for that meeting. But I looked at the minutes. Let's see if you guys had a good, good meeting and a uh, good conversation with the sergeants and such, the folks that came in. ATV, it sounded like you, Callie had, uh, did a good job there. Yes, she did. Me too. Um, let's go ahead and move on to old business. All right. Um, service officers, well, we've, we've filled one tonight. We have the, um, not the service officer, but the planning commission. Uh, now, can we decide whether we needed that service officer? Or was there a question that, we, that was posed to us? I think it used to be an, a question that's posed to you guys. Um, it is not necessary anymore. So if you guys wanted to just do away with it and just, you can. What do they do anyways? They assist like people that need assistance, mm -hmm. um, helping them fill out forms that they need help with, that type of thing. That's kind of nice to have if we had someone to do it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that similar to the, the group that Cheryl and you and... Yeah, any one of us would help. Right. Well, why don't we keep it on there. Let me talk to you guys. Maybe we can decide that one of you guys says, all right, I'm going to be the service officer okay. out of that group so that there is official, in case, who knows, you know, sometimes there's opportunities available when, you know, there's a um, type of like that out there where okay. it's easier for people. CV Fiber or CV Fiber, um, thanks for approving uh, the lawyer um, as far as taking a look at it was Ron Cousin. He did get back with us. He, he said he didn't see anything wrong with the uh, NOA. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I want you to continue if you haven't yet, make sure you look at the guidance that we have on how to spend this money. You know, or I should say the guides or the, the, the guardrails of, mm -hmm. of this money. Um, and I know I think, Ray, there was a comment you had uh, somewhere where you uh, questioned the amount we were uh, looking at CB5 or so. You know, our next meeting we'll talk about that. Yeah. Um, so when are they, when are they, is the next It'll be the next meeting. Okay. Originally it was going to be here or this one, but because we hadn't gotten that lawyer stuff back yet, I didn't want to go ahead with that. Um, so one of the, you almost to read a little, just refresh our yeah, on of, the Recovery Act. On the Recovery Act. Right. That way, um, you know, if you come in with ideas or anyone out or someone else has an idea, you know, we kind of know already. Right, you, you can or you can't do that type of thing. So we're not wasting a ton of time kind of going over the rules over here. Um, and they may, by that time, there may be some other things that we have uh, 
Tak až teda veľa, že to bolo iné. Right, so there's lots of different things that uh, you may, and as you look at that and read it more, there's ways to wiggle around things or or, or uh, how I finesse it. That's, that's, that's another word. word. That's the word. I don't like wiggle either. Yeah, it was a little tough. <laughs> yeah, uh, finesse. Uh, so we can do that. And with CB Fiber, one of the, you know, think of questions you might want. Mm -hmm. Chuck's in here. Uh, you want to make sure you're getting those answered. I've come, come up with a couple uh, other things that I think we should look into. Uh, I've talked to uh, uh, Wastefield Telecom uh, because their CD Fiber is, is doing an agreement with them. Uh, but knowing you know, Wastefield Telecom has served our town for a long time, and yeah, he's got a lot here. So I want to make sure that they're on board too. So, Absolutely, that's so before, you know, we really make any huge decisions, <coughs> I um, thought it might be good, and I want to get a feeling from maybe everyone else here, about maybe getting those guys to come, someone from um, Waitsville Telecom. Because um, yeah. he did mention about using them, you know, trying to work with them. Right. And so I want to make sure there's a good relationship there. I don't want, you know, um, you know, one thing in the back of my mind is, you know, if I'm going to give seventy-five thousand, hundred thousand, whatever it is, to CB Fiber, why wouldn't I give it to Wichita Telecom? You know, I thought exactly. It read my mind. Uh, the guys down the road that done everything. So I, I mean, I'm not saying that's what, but that's just a question I have. Why mm -hmm. wouldn't I? Do? You know, and so yeah. I'm expecting to see if I really so this is a good softball question. It's not a softball question, but good heads up for them. Yeah. Um, those are the type of things. That historically, they, that they developed the line as a business in a whole different realm to get to where they are now. You know, they had a, there was a telephone, right. oh, telephone yeah. service, and then it was cable, and, you know, and then into the internet and stuff. So this is, I mean, I'm not, I'm just, Help me understand that CB Fiber is trying to come along and get to areas that have that have no no service provided, be it Waitsfield Telecom or uh, I don't know. Uh, right. So what my thought is, is then why wouldn't you? All right. So oh, Waitsfield Telecom fun. comes to here, then why don't they come to here? We'll pay for that. To oh, help use them. way to help them. Right. Help them. them. Exactly. I, I understand. Help what you're them saying. build out, not just to. Uh, they don't have any interest in doing that, and yet here we could help, we could participate in funding. That. Right. There you go. So yeah. that, no, and I don't know, but I, I so mm -hmm. I did reach out and I spoke to Roger Nish, who <coughs> talked real quick, and there is interest to get to, I just want to say they have an interest to come to a meeting, and um, at the time I said they even would see. Yeah, I wonder why they never really made me even consider that. You know, who knows? They may. Again, maybe because the way that they've always conducted business has not been that way. You know, they've always scratched out themselves and yeah. figured it out. So, but some of this is in the 229 area. It's not in Waitsville Telecom's area. It's but what makes it their area? Well, you know what I mean? The, like, your, who's your phone provider for the phone service? And, it's uh, Infinity. What? Comcast. Comcast, right, but I um, mean, it's not a, a valley per se number. Right. It's a different provider. Oh, oh okay. You know, yeah. in the, so, and I wonder if they feel like they can't go into that zone. There may, there may you know, be that. I don't know. And that's a good question to ask. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I just think it's more questions of things that we come up with like that. Yeah. Just so we've done, I, I think it's very important that we get fire to everyone. And I just want to make sure that we do it the best way. Yes. You know, and whether it's CB Fiber or these guys or, you know, is it, you know, I don't think it would hurt us to reach out and just find out what type of, does Comcast, is that the other person, is that the other group that serves on the site? Yeah, uh, Com well, Comcast, well, I know they walk Jones McGraw Road. 
I don't know how far. Do they go down River Road? Are you on Compact? Yeah, that's the one I have too. Okay. They used to be Fairpoint, but what is it now? Whatever that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, would be interesting. I'd be interested to know if they have any other plans to operate. Do you have something you could take on, Sasha, to try to find? Um, you know, there's going to be a. I don't know. I don't know what is it consolidated communication? Consolidated. Yeah. I know they would put a cable up and down the road as well. I have no idea what their plans are. Yeah. But I know I think some people in the world have gone to them and not been that happy with them. <laughs> and that's what my concern is that you know once you have service, the, the game doesn't end there. You know, that's where there's a start. huge where the game starts. You know, there's a lot of maintenance, a lot of you know people systems break down. You got to have somebody they can call, and uh, that's what's good I think about which you know, right. their experience. And so on the other side, I think they were. Chuck was talking about them partnering, partnering with uh, Washington Electric. Is that correct? Do you think well, so? I heard him say he was going to try to work with uh, Waysville Telephone. Yeah. I kind of heard him say Washington Electric as well. Yeah, I think that was uh, one that they were in. So I'd be interested to look and learn about that agreement as yeah. well. Um, because if, if they're having an agreement with them, Washington Electric is putting in on uh, Infrastructure um, per their agreement, and there's we're just supplementing Washington Lunch. I don't want to do that either. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, I, I think that's important that we take a look at those agreements to make sure that um, where all that money goes if we do decide to, to go that route. AT ordinance, you guys worked on that. Legal Trails, Cheryl, I know, has been um, trying to work with. Shams in um, oh, uh, yep, Karen and Shams on little trails, uh, war memorials. Uh, Ray, you get that working. Uh, one thing I don't see on here, but I want to cover is you know, our grant stuff with the um, town large. I know, Don, you know. Oh, I was going to bring that up. Like no, oh, old business, you can go ahead and talk about that. Well, no, so I got Brad, Gabe sent the letter of some items that he needed, and Sasha and Stefan, and I got stuff from the electrician, and I sent that off to Brad this morning. He totally feels that we can use the fourth, you know, the, the efficiency of my grant, 4,000 we can use for the lighting, so we're good on that. And, um, of course, I got an away message, and he will be back in his office, I think, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, so he'll respond to his emails. But he's also going to be in Warfest. Oh, nice. So, you know, you'll get a chance to say hello. Oh, they're going to have a little thing there, I guess. Perfect. So we, have, we had bids that we talked about on yeah. just the electrical car and not on the uh, email. You know, on the condensation. Condensation. Oh, I haven't heard anything back. So about. that's something we're going to have to look in separately, but... I forget what the bid was for for the electrical car. Um, eight eight thousand. Eight thousand, of which yeah. we think we're going to use four thousand from the right. So, but uh, yeah, so we have to pursue the. Uh, oh, we really should stay on top of that because it's only going to get worse. Yeah. So, so I'm going to try to think of some other contractors to reach yeah. out to. Yeah, you know, I I, get, I do have a little bit of time, more time now. Yeah, so there you go. I will I will reach out to yeah well. Yeah, because if they were the builder, then maybe they can. Efficient work. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Thank you, guys, gentlemen, for getting that done. We'll keep it around. Uh, keep it around. Um, any other old? Yeah, nothing I see here. But that we timeline things that we're working on that need to be. Well, I would say only one old business item is on the town hall. We're, you know, regardless, you know, we're going to have to think to fit it. Without, regardless of all the stuff, one thing that I really think that we should start to look into and reach out is, is finding an engineer and doing a proper sort of study on the water mitigation and the, you know, parking lot and, and such, you know. Um, because no matter what happens, 
that really needs it. There's been water events this summer. Uh, Mark has been down there cleaning out that little drainage thing there by the door three or four times already. It's not working. And um, so, you know, some, a, a firm that will come in here and, and then we can start to deal with, you know, moisture in the basement and some mold or not mold or funky air and stuff, you know. But, yeah, so, I agree. We need to but that one figure really, out what the problem is there. I mean, that, that's a, I mean, the lift and the this and the that and all the other stuff, we're going to, that's coming. But that, we got to, to keep our building. Do you have any ideas on who would be a good person to look at that when you're trying to figure that out? Or? There's still engineering part of it? No. Yeah, for, I don't know. Um, yeah, there's several um, locally around here. I wonder if Stone Environmental could do that. Do they have? Uh, they're, they're, they're more of a, I mean, they could do it, but I don't think, you know, I think somebody like Brennier or um, the Wolf is another local one. There's a few local ones around here. Well, what? I would suggest, why don't we take a look at um, our budget, see what we have for money. Yeah. Um, Maybe we'll just make some sort of RFP yeah. of some sort. Put that out there, but I don't know when. Actually, we should probably go ahead and do an RFP for that. It's nothing that anyone's going to go and jump on and do this fall anyways, I right. don't think. Uh, so if we get something out in Ramey, that is something that you could work with Sasha on. Yeah. The basement guy I did meet with him. I'm waiting for a PDF with his findings. He said if the elevator stays where it is, they could put a grate in there, like when you're going towards the elevator, and that would eliminate that issue right there in that corner. That's a problem we're having now. Yep. Without it being paved, the grates are getting full of. Yeah. She's saying inside, inside. of the basement. Oh, inside. Yeah, inside, on the inside right. of, like in the basement, oh, okay. you go around the corner to go towards the elevator. There's a whole section in the floor. He said that should have a grate in it. So okay. that is that is one problem that they could fix. But he thinks that a really big industrial dehumidifier would work a lot of that stuff out. Hmm. But I haven't got prices or anything from him back yet. All right, yeah, when he gets that report, that will be interesting to see that. Um, yeah. We can still work on what yeah. houses. Yeah, 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 just to figure that out too. No, um, and you're probably right by the time that gets out, and then we yeah. get some prices, and then they look at it, and we, we could even maybe put it in the budget. In the budget, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yeah. But let's get it so yeah, let's get the ball on that yeah. roll. Yeah. Um, because yeah, it's been a couple of years and it's and it's a great building that I think the basement could be very usable. Yeah. Um, but look, the issue is not going to be. Uh, so that was my one of my old business. Okay. Um my new business old business. Yeah. So as far as other old business things are there, Things, um, Sasha, that we have to address by the end of this year. Is there anything else that you know you are talking about this? I don't think there's anything else that we have going on. Right We're closer to the Robert Turner thing, okay. um, the road maintenance system, um, the trailer endorsements. That hasn't been talked about in a while. All right, so that's. Hmm. They, they haven't done it yet. Yeah. I'm sorry, the trailer one. Trailer endorsements on their driver's license. Oh, okay. um, to pull the trailer that we have, in, yeah. you know. And it's actually been a couple of years now that we've been uh, promised that. So we need to find out what the story is there and then figure out how best to get that done to make sure it gets done finally. Um, new business. Oops, I, I'm sorry. One last, I, I just saw my notes. So it's great that we have the owls nest. I think that's going to help a lot of people and stuff. So I was just wondering, do, should we try to publicize it? 
Yeah, I put something in that in front of porch four or the valley reporter or something. It's great that we have the this one on it. Yeah, I think on front porch four would probably be a good idea. And also I think I was gonna to talk to Sasha about this one thing there is a it's six o'clock. I don't know that we moved on but no I'm gonna call it comment there it's at six thirty, but um, up here in the title and then we'll we can work so that hybrid I get it, we all get it, but you know, make sure that we state the uh, you know the boards meeting live at seven nine school three the Hogan Bowl meeting room. However, or if you're more comfortable, however we want to word that, you can join us via Zoom and then the address, just so that really people are aware. Yeah, I called Sasha this morning because I was confused. I thought the whole meeting was going on. Yeah. So, you know, so, um, but I was just thinking it would be good to just get it out to make people aware of like a little notice on front of those forums. No, I think that's a good idea. We'll, uh, you know, maybe a week before our next meeting or something, we can do that and then when we warn the meeting, we'll rewind it as well. So right now, if somebody were to call in, it would come up on the screen if they had a camera. Yeah. yeah. And we could talk, it's like a Zoom meeting. Right. Yeah. Know, and they could see all of us here. Okay. And as you talk. Yeah, I just noticed that. As I talk, what? You, uh, yeah. you can like center stage. And that'd be great if someone's in the audience or, you know, part of the there, we'll go to them as well. Okay. What's pretty slick. Yeah, yeah pretty well. Is, it is nice. Mm -hmm. Look, there is three split three ways right there. Yeah. Oh my god. We got a thing out of crew. Um all right, so for new business I'll start off with there's an opportunity uh, for a grant for a scoping study. Which I thought actually that Cheryl Lynn, the one who came up with it or uh, approached me with it, um, for our sidewalk on the other side of town. And so, before you can get a grant to do the sidewalk, you need to do it because in those grants they ask for scoping studies. So, this is a grant for a scoping study that we could do on Route 2 near the fairgrounds road uh, in the the development that's over there. Yeah. Um, so it seems like a fairly straightforward uh, grant. Um, so I just want to make sure that you guys are aware. Of your yeah, own. and then Joyce Manchester sent that letter because she got some positive feedback. Like, uh, you know, we got a letter from, I mean, she's been chatting yeah. with different people in the state who felt that that was very doable as far as the right of way and the amount of space. And, being able to do it, but you're right, you have to do it. You know. Yeah, it has to be, and this will, I think we can get that. And then, um, obviously, the next thing down the road will be the, a grant, hopefully, for more sidewalks for that area, which I think would be very good. And I think it would be an easy, uh, not an easy grant to get, but something that you could really show the need for. Um, the other grant that Cheryl and um, asked if we wanted to apply for it was a grant for the parking lot, and it was a block grant, um, and it, there was a, a match on it. But, and then she got that from Pam D'Andrea. Uh, but I thought we had been told that the parking lot, or not the parking lot, pardon me, the, um, uh, the project here, the, the drainage and everything. I thought that that project, had, they told us that that was taken care of. Uh, that's my understanding. The, the drainage part of it is all done. The design is what she said. What's that? The design part was all taken care of. That, that was I, but I thought we had funding for the whole construction. I, yeah. yeah, because of some change out here. They were, couldn't do that, but they could do this. We don't yeah. have funding? I, as far as she said today, which she told Tom, they because she she asked me that and I, I said no I uh, I mean that does not sound right I mean, we were hit to your point um, and remember we even went to Ray Nagel and we were talking to him and we were like well you know we've got some good news you know that whole project is taken care of the whole drainage part the whole of it. drainage part of it was I mean I, I know I wasn't hearing that yeah. Uh, huh. yeah 
earlier this year somewhere on the line. Uh, yeah, I'm very sure that that's what we heard. Mm -hmm. but there may have been miscommunication or whatever, but we need to figure that out before we can start looking at the grants, right? Yes. I mean, it obviously it doesn't cover the parking lot reconstruction right. other than the drainage. Maybe that's the grant that she's talking about. Yeah. The new grant. It was, no, um, I, I, don't, I don't think so. I think she, so we'll have to do some digging and, and even talk to Ray. I mean, I know what you said to Ray. I think I, I very clearly remember talking to him about it and saying, hey, we have some good news because of uh, what happened here. They were doing something else for us. Um, so we'll go ahead, though, and do the scoping. Um, We did have that walkthrough, right? We had that walkthrough earlier this year, right? We met out. Were you part of the? I was not here. No. Mm -hmm. was John. But we walked up, you know, around the buildings, and this was back in April. And I, you know, I thought at that time it was in the design phase, but I thought it was really clear that we were going to get funding for the whole entire project. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you remember who was there? You, John? Uh, John Daigle, uh, Andre, the engineer was there, uh, John and I, I think maybe Martin was there too. I'm pretty sure Martin was there. Which, 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 which John, the guy from, was that a guy from the state? There was another. There was another person there from the state. I wonder if someone. Chris. 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 No, it wasn't Chris. It was. Hmm, I don't remember who the other person was. Because maybe they took some meeting notes or something. Yeah, but I guess I think the, when we were told, I think we might have been on a Zoom meeting. Yeah. Because I think I was there. It wasn't. I didn't hear it secondhand from. Uh, yes. Right. Anyone. Because I wouldn't, I don't think, talk about it or tell Ray about it. Because like Ray Davis, yes. he was not present at the meeting that that was announced or that we were told that. Because I told him and if he was at this walk around, it wouldn't have been that. All right, so let's move forward. Any other new business? Slash, we have anything else here? We have a couple of ones to sign. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's say John came in and, uh, and then I do, or we need to um, go into executive session uh, briefly for uh, an employee. Where's that? Where are you So yeah, well, I will um, move that we go into executive session for, um, it's actually 1B, it's uh, labor uh, relations uh, with employees. Or actually no, uh, 4A. Uh, and I'll just leave it with 1A, or 1B, pardon me. 
This is, it goes into different ones. This is an employee thing, depending on where this goes. Um, right. I'll second that. Ray seconds that. And uh, any other questions? If no other questions, I'll favor Ray. Right. And it will just be the board. So. Uh,